Three more hard diaries done being Lumbridge, Ardy and Fremenic. I'm going to be using the lamps on Herblore and I think I'm going to be using all of my XP lamps on Herblore going forwards. It was a toss up really between Herblore and crafting but I think that I should be able to get crafting up easily enough now that I do have the glass make spell unlocked from the Fremenic region. So yeah, I don't think Herblore will be too tricky either with the botanist relic but just going to be using the lamps on here I think going forwards. 74 oh no 77 <laughs> very nice and that is another 250 points for obtaining 25 million wood cutting xp in total just over 17,000 teak logs which i think would be enough for 25 mil construction xp if i wanted to go for that um yeah you might have noticed i've got a tool store in my inventory Going to be trying to get 10 stamina potions so I can start working through the uh, different ornate pool um, progressions. If I wanted to get the best one for the health regeneration, I would need 10 stamina potions. So we'll see if that's possible. Um, yeah, that's that's woodcutting done. That was insanely fast. 28 minutes and 19 seconds. I didn't use a single supply either. That is absolutely crazy. My plan now is to do three more capes to take me up to 5kc, which is a task for 250 points, I believe. That will get me up to 85 Slayer at least. So I can then go and do some Abbey Demon tasks, get a whip, and then should be on my way for 87 Slayer for Kraken. Slight detour first though to pick up some wine of Zamorak from these Necreals. This is my only source of wines for the League. So uh, very pleased that I picked up the Botanist Relic, otherwise making ranging potions would have been a bit of a pain. There we go, that is five Jads completed for 250 points. And that has taken me up to 86 Slayer, which is very nice. I am going to gamble three of these capes for the pets, and then the fourth one I'm going to take and sacrifice it to access the Inferno. I'm not, not attempting the Inferno at all at the moment but it is a task for 250 points, so definitely worth doing. Draining strikes is just ridiculous. I brought my Ardy cloak and completely forgot that I'm probably not going to need any supplies for Slayer going forward, because it's just pray melee, don't use any food, don't actually need to recharge prayer at any point. Ridiculous. There it is, Abyssal Whip. My first task, equip that for 250 points, and it wasn't a repeat of the Twisted League. Where I went 2,500 dry. Obviously, with the times three drop rate modifier, it's not one in 512, it's much less than that. So that's good to see. I will finish this task and then probably go and do a Kraken task and try and pick up my trident. Very pleased to see that early on. That took less than 20 kills. Um, it's obscenely slow at 79 magic, and I'm actually using Fire Blast. So I'll go and charge this up. I might do a few boss kills or I might just skip the task. It would be good to get the Kraken Tentacle because it is a task to make the Tentacle Whip. But yeah, happy to get that early. There we go. That is 25 million cooking XP for 250 points. I have now entered the rune rank, which was my goal for this league. It seems a lot more competitive than Twisted League. So we'll see if I'll be able to uh, maintain rune rank until the end. But fingers crossed we can. That is really good to see, Kraken Tentacle on just 90kc. There is a task for enhancing a trident which would take another 10 tentacles. I don't know if I'm going to go for that at all this league. Kraken's pretty slow, it might be one of those tasks I leave to the end. But uh, yeah, will be another 250 points once I attach this to my whip and equip it which is really nice. That seems to have come around really quickly but in just one hit, 99 range for 250 points. I don't think reaching 25 mil is going to be a struggle at all to be honest. The luck continues, my first smoke devil task and I have picked up the occult necklace. So that's a really nice upgrade and a very easy 250 points. Dust battle staff from a dark beast superior, not the most useful drop but 
it is a task for 100 points so can't complain last kill of the task and i've got the dark bow which is another 100 points very nice indeed managed to grow two spirit trees and traveling between them is a task for 250 points which is quite nice my farming is going up really quickly decided to come and quickly knock out 20 room crafting levels so that is level 82 which is going to allow me to complete the Fremnic Elite Diaries, which will be very nice for the noted Dagonoth Bones from DK's. I think I'll probably head over to DK's relatively soon. There's about 1,000 points to get from just all of the unique drops, and then there are some point milestones for uh, reaching like 250, 500, 750 kills. Um, so that's going to be pretty good, and the bones will be very handy for prayer. The 1KC Archer's Ring, very nice. Going to head out and complete the Fremnic Diary. So as usual, going to be using this on Herblore. It should be a pretty hefty XP drop, 800k, 83. I can now make some brews, which will be nice. That'll be decent XP. Forgot about this task, but 250 points for completing the regular gauntlet in under five minutes. That was not too tough at all, to be honest. Of all the drops I could have gotten from Zora, I certainly wasn't expecting the Jar of Swamp, but that is pretty nice because there is a task for filling the display case in the house of a jar and um, I'm not sure that the jar drops are actually affected by the drop rate modifiers so getting that is very very lucky indeed. 50 superiors done now also closing in on 99 hit points 25 mil range and another slayer task milestone which is going to be quite nice to knock all of those out and there we go that is 99 hit points the uh, the elite tasks are absolutely flying in at the moment and another 250 points for 25 million ranged XP. I think getting my melees and hit points up to 25 million should be easy enough this league. I'm planning to AFK the melees up to 99 and eventually 25 mil at the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels. Magic less sure about though. 250 very easy points for getting a Torstal from a Herbie Boar and a nice milestone 400 tasks completed and 25,000 points on the dot. Was hoping I might get an early Vorkath's head. That is only six kills. It's very slow for me at the moment. I need to work out a better way of killing Vorkath once I want to get into it properly, but I'm gonna upgrade my accumulator into an assembler, which would be quite nice. Spent a couple of mil on training construction up to 84, and there are a few points to be had in my player-owned house. So I will get a hundred points for building the achievement gallery, which is 200 K pretty pricey. And I should also be able to build this boss lair display and adding in my jar of swamp is another 250 points. And last but not least, gonna build the gilded altar for another 100 points. This is gonna be so good for prayer training, especially for all of the superior bones I get from Vorkath. And there is base 90 melee stats and 2000 total level as well for 250 points. There we go, first unique drop at Zora, probably the least useful one for me, 77 KC, but very nice to see that. Uh, okay, two kills later we get another Magic Fang. I'm hoping this is not going to be a repeat of what happened on my Iron Man, where I went like oh, 1700 kills dry for the Tanzanite Fang, and I did end up getting an awful lot of these along the way, but we'll see. There it is, the Tanzanite Fang on kill number 87. This is what Zora and the range build is all about. It's one tick, I think, and it is just gonna be ridiculous, ridiculous DPS. Oh my God, look at this thing. This is the first kill. That is gonna get me the challenge for doing it in under 42 seconds, I think. 30 on the dot, that's ridiculous. I do actually want to be a little bit careful with the darts because I have to go to Vorkath to get them mostly, but yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be good fun. And that is it for episode three of the Trailblazer League. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Next episode, I'm planning on getting a lot more PVM drops. Certainly going to be heading to Demonic Gorillas to try and pick up some Zenites. Probably then make my way to DKs. As I mentioned, there's a lot of points tied up in the unique drops there. And just continuing my way up the ranks. I'm currently at 27,850 points, 418 tasks completed. So. Um, I'm in the rune rank and very comfortably so at the minute by about 6,000 points at time of recording which is nice and it's just a case now of trying to maintain it. I'm not confident that um, I have enough time or inclination to try and push into the dragon ranks 
Um, so it's just a case of continuing to have fun and maintaining the rune rank, which was my goal for this league. If you have enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos for the rest of the league, feel free to subscribe as well. And as ever, take care.